The following is an overview of Mdaemon's mail queues. This diagram illustrates the principle of operation of Mdaemon's main queues. Let's imagine that we have an inbound message arriving from a LAN client and that we wish to send it. The client connects to the SMTP service which is always listening on port 25. Once the message arrives, it is deposited into the inbound queue. The message stays in this queue until it is processed by mdaemon, which then analyzes the headers in order to determine whether it is addressed to a local or a remote email account. If the message is for a local account, it is deposited into the local queue. If, on the other hand, the message is addressed to a remote user, it is deposited into the remote queue. The email messages deposited into the local queue are then moved by mdaemon to the mailbox of the destination account. Forwarding or content filter rules might be configured. This is the phase during which mdaemon performs all of the preset tasks and deposits the message in all of the relevant mailboxes. The SMTP service picks up the messages in the remote queue and sends them to the remote destination mail server. If the message is sent successfully, mdaemon proceeds to analyze the remaining mail messages in the queue. If, on the other hand, the message is not sent successfully, it is returned to the remote queue. The SMTP service will try to send the message again, and if it fails, it will put the message back into the remote queue. This mechanism continues for the time interval that is set by the administrator under the retry queue configuration screen located under the queues menu in mdaemon. After this time interval has elapsed, the SMTP service does not return the mail to the remote queue, but deposits it into the retry queue. The SMTP service attempts to send the messages deposited into the retry queue less frequently than those in the remote queue. If sending is unsuccessful again, the message is redeposited into the retry queue. The duration of this cycle is configurable, and once the set time interval has elapsed, the message is declared undeliverable and is deleted from all of the queues. If an exception is found by the antivirus or content filter when processing a message, the message causing the exception is placed in a special queue called the holding queue. The messages in this queue are no longer processed, and mdaemon sends notification to the postmaster of the fact that there are messages in this queue. It is therefore the postmaster who decides how to deal with these messages and whether or not to send them back to mdaemon.